A lot of folks in Cordell still without power this evening. Suzanne Lawler joins us now live with more. Thank you, Lori. We're in Arabia, Arabia, and this is also in uh, Cordial, which is Crisp County. This was a peanut drying shed. It stood here forever. Now, after Michael had its way with it, well, it's just a pile of rubble. Abby Casoris has more just up the road on how folks are cleaning up in Cordial. Today, I think it's a, it's a sobering reminder of what Mother Nature can do. Mother Nature tore through Crisp County Wednesday night and she didn't spare Christy Turner. These are the oak trees. These trees have been here a long time. And the roots, and the, they go so deep, you got big holes in the yard. She left a hole in her yard. Looked like a war area. And a hole in her house. We trying to see if the lights gonna get back on, cause if not, we gonna have to find another place. These are the sounds that filled Hickory Street. Russell Stewart had to clean up too, but he says he was fine with it because he had his family. You know, you can replace your house. You can replace the structure, but you can't replace the people. I have not gone to bed for a couple of days, and I'm determined to get this thing back on track. That starts with the power company. Sheriff Billy Hancock says they had over 100 poles go down, and at one point, over 10,000 people lost electricity. I feel fortunate uh, when I look at my neighbors to the south and to the west of me, and I see some of them that lost their 911 centers, and some of them that are requesting our assistance this morning with our bus and things of that nature. I think we're fortunate in the amount of damage we have. So for now, they're focusing on cleaning up the county, one limb at a time. In Crisp County, Abby Casores. Hey, we're just going to count our blessings and clean up and go from there. 13 WMAZ News. Just a couple more notes to bring you. Crisp County Schools are out tomorrow. Also, they lifted the curfew today at noon, but that doesn't mean that you should get out and drive. If you do not have to, don't. There are still a lot of power lines down and a lot of downed trees. They also warn that if you come to a downed tree, do not try and go around it. Frank, Lori. All right, Suzanne, thank you very much. Sheriff Hancock also has told Suzanne and Abby they have DOT, DNR, Department of Corrections working to clear roads. Says it could take up to a week for people to get their power back on, but they are trying to, of course, get that done as quickly as possible.